If I may say so, my job is simple and very interesting to give a vote of thanks. So I did not have to prepare speeches. And before I start, I would like to actually extend on behalf of Mr. Harjeev Singh and Mr. Dilbir Singh huge thanks to the audience because the audience makes the conference today, convention today. Without you, let me tell you, there will be no One Globe Summit this morning. So thank you very much. And may I first of all, um, Welcome, Honorable Minister Shri Rao Inderjit Singh, Member of Parliament, Shri Member of Parliament, Mr. Shalab Kumar, Dr. Makesh Agi, Dilbi Singh, and of course, my very close friend, Harjeev Singh. I would like to acknowledge Minister Shri Rao Inderjit Singh, who has taken time out of his busy schedule. And I know, being in the parliament, that how time is valuable to the government members. So thank you very much indeed for your help to us today. And I must say, your speech was very interesting. You talked about smart cities, and you talked about urban development. I'm not going to go into every aspect of your speech, but I would like to focus a little bit on the urban development area. What you said was really interesting as far as I am concerned. I support women economic empowerment. And as I understand it, 70% of the Indian population lives in urban area. And women over there do not have the facilities for education, to get a job, to be self-reliant. So they are really dependent on their family members or the communities. And eventually they become modern slaves. And therefore, it is utmost important that as the Honorable Minister said, urban people should be supported and we should really develop them. In my opinion, while we are making 100 smart cities, which is a very good project set up by the Honorable Prime Minister Modi, we should make the villages functional at least. To make them functional, we need five elements which are important. And if I may say so, first one is electricity, infrastructure, education, sanitation, drinking water, and food. So, as you are involved with the urban development, I would urge you to look at the areas which I have mentioned and see how you can also help urban development side by side with the smart cities. I would also like to say that we had a 
wonderful talk from Mr. Salab Kumar about America, about the relationship of America with India, and of course, about Trump himself. I met Mr. Kumar exactly three years ago, which was quite coincidental because we both were present at Mr. Modi's inauguration ceremony at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. And we happened to travel together in the same car. So I'm meeting him after three years and I heard him speak quite a lot last night and this morning. And without going too much or repeating what he has said, all I would like to say is that the government of India should consider making him an ambassador at large so that he can promote a relationship between India and America even more. Thank you very much for your briefing on Mr. Trump and the Trump's future plans. Similarly, I would also like to thank Dr. Aggie, who is doing a brilliant work in the United States to promote India. As I heard from, as you all heard from him, uh, US India organization is the biggest organization to promote India in the, in the US. And I'm quite fortunate that I get their newsletters from time to time in London, and I see their work is progressing with a rapid speed, and I'm sure now with the Trump government, they will be doing even better. Thank you very much, Dr. Aggie. Last but not least, I would like to thank both Mr. Dalbir Singh and Mr. Harjeev Singh. They are both working very hard to build up this One Globe conference because it is doing so well and it is also encouraging people from many countries who are sitting here today as well uh, to learn about India, to bring their expertise to India and share knowledge. Knowledge is the main thing at the moment, uh, you know, to educate our future generations. Harjeev, in particular, is a friend of mine for the last 10 to 12 years, and he is also a trustee of the Lumba Foundation. I would like to just touch the Lumba Foundation briefly for the benefit of the Honorable Minister. The Lumba Foundation is educating children of poor widows and empowering widows in urban areas. And that is why I wanted to touch this area. There are 46 million widows and over 100 million children in India alone, and they are neglected. They may be getting a pension from the government, but some of them don't even receive it, and the people who receive it is not sufficient. In some states, it's 300 rupees a month. In some states, it's 500 rupees a month. In some states, it's 700 rupees a month. You tell me in the 21st century, what can a widow with two or three children do with that sort of amount? So therefore, I have actually been very fortunate that my project in Varanasi last year for 5,000 widows whom we are training in tailoring and giving sewing machines so that they can become self-sufficient um, 
to educate their children and look after their family member and live with their dignity, um, that the Prime Minister himself launched the project. So we were very honored and I believe that there is a lot more to be done for widows in this country. The UN has recognized the plight of widows, which had been neglected for many, many years. Um, although I said India has 46 million widows, there are 259 million widows across the world, which was proved by World Widow Report, a copy of which was presented to the Honorable Prime Minister here and the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon in the US. So not going too much into the problem, although I wanted to highlight that problem, and I want to thank my friend Harjeev Singh for helping us. He's a trustee of the charity, and it's one of the reasons I specially flew in yesterday to attend this uh, conference because it gives me great pleasure to see his wonderful work. Thank you.